Meanwhile, the Minister of Transportation, Mr. Moazu Sambo, says that Nigeria will become a major maritime hub in Africa as Lekki Deep Sea ports set, get set to commence operations. The minister made the assertion during a tour of port facilities in Lagos where he threatened to terminate the rail contract awarded the China Civil Engineering Construction Company over the firm's failure to provide 85% counterpart fund for the project. Ifunaya is a report. Operation of these ports will commence in September, one month from now. The Minister of Transportation, Moazu Sambo, giving a definitive response to queries about when the Lekki Deep Sea port will commence operations. The Minister, together with top officials of the Transportation Ministry and heads of the several maritime agencies, did his first official tour of port facilities in Lagos, including the Lekki Deep Sea port, which he says will become a major game changer in Nigeria's port operations. This, like you know, should be the pride of all Nigerians. The first deep sea port in West Africa. It will take the largest ships in the world, six and a half, uh, 16.5 meters deep, um, create hundreds of thousands of jobs. Everything you want in a port is here. Speaking about the failure of the China Civil Engineer Construction Company to provide 85% counterpart fund, being part of the contract agreement for the rail project two years after, he threatens sanctions. I gave them a deadline. My deadline is, um, I think, 30th of uh, October. 30th of October this year. If I don't get that money on ground, I know what to I'd advise Mr. President to do. How much are we looking at? Eighty-five percent of the cost of the projects. There are two projects involved, Kano Kaduna and uh, the Eastern Line Maiduguri Port Harcourt. Responding to questions on the implication of the Lekki Deep Sea Port operations on existing seaports in the country, the Managing Director of the Nigerian Ports Authority, Mohamed Bilo Koko, says it will drive competition. Those ports will still be viable, naturally, but what we have just done is to create alternative for importers and exporters where they decide to do business. So it's for the, uh, uh, the operators of those ports to also up their game, improve the speed at which they process uh, cargo, whether it's in terms of clearance and so on and so forth. Uh, feasibility studies have shown that these ports will still be viable. There are high expectations that imports and export trade, among other maritime businesses, will increase substantially as government concerns to the construction of more deep sea ports across the country. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.